I've been playing soccer ever since I can remember. I don't remember a time where I wasn't playing soccer. Um, growing up, uh, I have two sisters and all three of us were playing soccer. So it's always super crazy in the house and mom and dad were always running around, taking us to games. I think that being here at Tiffin has really benefited me. I think that having the smaller class sizes is very nice because you are able to get more one-on-one -on -one with your professors and they know you by name basis so if you have a question you're not as afraid to ask them as if you were at a bigger school you don't get that that one-on-one -on -one time with your professor when we first found out that we we weren't having our season i think that the team was kind of down at as expected but I think that having this time is really going to be beneficial for us as we can really work on the things that we need to work on and get better at those things and I think that we just need to look at it in a positive way. Last year we, we didn't have the best season. I think that the, this year the team is, is very motiv motivated and really willing to get better and perfect our game and I think that having this extra time is giving us giving us more time to focus on the things that we need to focus on and get better at the things that we weren't so good at last year. We got a new coach this year and I think that this is really good for the team. He's really brought a positive vibe to the team and I think that the team is really feeding off of that and really getting better, each and one of us. We, I can see improvements from everyone on the team. And I think that having this new coach is really gonna be beneficial to us for the season. And I'm really excited to see how we play and how our season goes. How I chose to come to Tiffin, um, you know, everyone wants to be Division One football player. You know, of course, that's what I was striving for at first. Uh, my first offer was actually Austin Peay, and um, I talked to those guys a lot. And then I had got off from EKU, and I was really leaning towards EKU. And then the coaches changed, so my offer kind of changed. And then Coach Golf and Coach Edwards found me. Uh, I think what really, what really struck me the most about them was they came in on in-house visit. And, uh, they I told them what my goal was, and they kind of like made sure that talking to me, like that's what they were going to strive for. Tiffin, I would say, I, I, even outside of football, Tiffin is a big family. Like uh, when, you, when I first got here, I met a lot of I met a lot of new people. You know, myself personally, when I first got, here, I didn't think I was going to meet as much people as I did. You know, with Tiffin being a small campus, it's really uh, just a big family. You see the same people every day, and it's like you, you grow a bond with certain people, and it's like you know it's going to last forever. Last year, uh, Coach Reiser got here, and um, you know, I kind of got the feel for him. 
I could tell like it was going to be something that I wanted to stay for. You know, uh, he brought a championship mentality to this program, and it was just like, it was just like, that, I mean, he pushed us to be that. And going into the year, I mean, we, we had we had a lot of weapons. Like, we had a lot of weapons. I mean, we had a really good football team. You know, and it, it showed. Our first playoff game, uh, it was, you know, it was it was it was big for us. Um, we knew that's we knew we were going to end up in the playoffs. But I don't think we were quite ready. I mean, it, obviously it showed. Uh, so uh, it was it was a good taste, you know. Like I, I look at it as like, you know, we got a taste into the playoffs. Like now we know what to expect going into it next year and the following years after that. Personally, uh, my goals, of course, would be another GMAC championship and a national championship. Uh, football after Tiffin, you know, I like to continue to play as much as I can. Hopefully, I be to be on the big stage. If not, wherever God lands me. It just made sense to get my MBA at Tiffany University. The quality of the education is very high. Your professors here do care. I definitely felt like I could grow as a student. And what's great about the online world is that it allows you to manage your time a little bit better. Pursuing my MBA has been one of the best decisions of my life. I can feel myself maturing, becoming a smarter person, a better person. It's exciting. I started playing soccer when I was three. I have a picture actually of my my dad. I couldn't even walk and he was holding me uh, by my hands and I was kicking a soccer ball. So even before I could walk, I was playing soccer, but I started officially when I was three and have been playing ever since. My dad's from Morocco. That He was definitely a big influence for me when uh, it came to sports. I tried other sports, but soccer was always my favorite and uh, I knew from an early age that the sport was going to be a, a huge part of my life. Um, he was my coach uh, growing up all the way through even high school he was uh, he was my coach so uh, he's a huge influence and um, he'll, he'll still come watch my games at Tiffin and it means so much that we can kind of bond over the sport and share a love for it. When I was 11, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Uh, it was a lot in the beginning. Um, I remember asking questions, you know, can I, asking my doctor, can I play soccer? Am I, you know, going to be able to go to school? And I think a lot of kids, when they're first diagnosed, uh, them and their family, they have fears of, you know, life is, is changed forever. And it is, but diabetes doesn't make things impossible. It just makes it harder. And, you know, I have to just will eat healthy and take care of my body kind of a little more than maybe others, but um, the lessons I've learned from the, the, the disease and um, all the life lessons it's taught me, you know, I wouldn't change the position I'm in. And uh, for like all the little kids that, you know, are scared or whatever, I, I'd say, you know, as long as you do what you have to do, you can do anything a, a normal person can. So I started playing soccer when I was uh, uh, about eight years old. Uh, I was playing for my local team um, before moving on to a professional academy in Swindon Town. Um, I was there for 10 years and then after my 10 years there I moved to Forest Green which is another professional academy and I did a two year scholarship there. Um, we was always told about the opportunities to come out to America and like, play art, play soccer and, um, and like, study. So this was always something I was thinking of. 
after after my time with uh, in England. Uh, so I made the decision to come to Tiffin. Um, obviously, I went through um, a sports agency to come out here, so they put all my clips together. Um, I had a couple of offers from like various universities, but um, when Tiffin came up, I spoke to Coach Rudy, um, and I liked his like desires for the upcoming seasons, like the philosophy of playing like the soccer they play here. Obviously, the pandemic has like, affected everything in terms of like schooling and and our soccer. Um, like it's been hard because we were, we had like a long summer off we were forced home, um, not being able to do anything. And coming back and starting playing soccer again was, was kind of hard. It's, it was hard enough to take it to uh, a couple of months, so it's affected a lot. In terms of like the team goals, obviously we want to win, like whatever competition we're in. It's the conference. Um, Coach Rudy has mentioned to me like his goals are to win the national tournaments. And, that's obviously going to be the goal for the top here. Future plans after after tipping. Um, I'd like to play obviously professionally. That's obviously been my dream since I was a young, young kid. Um, but if things don't work out with soccer, then uh, maybe going into coaching back home in England or, or um, any other jobs to do with it within sport. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. It just made sense to get my MBA at Tiffany University. The quality of the education is very high. Your professors here do care 
I definitely felt like I could grow as a student. And what's great about the online world is that it allows you to manage your time a little bit better. Pursuing my MBA has been one of the best decisions of my life. I can feel myself maturing, becoming a smarter person, a better person. It's exciting. High school, high school was pretty fun for me. Uh, I guess in eighth grade, I was I was looked at as going to a private school in my area, but I just didn't feel like a private school kid. That's when I started working out at Frederick Douglass High School uh, later towards my eighth grade year, towards the summer. And I worked around probably like every day. Every day after uh, school, coach would come pick me up and I'd just be working out with the high school. That, that led to me becoming the starting quarterback, varsity my freshman year. And we had a great season. The year before that, they actually got to the state championship. That same year when I came in, we made it back to the state championship. I think our record was 12 and two. If I'm not mistaken, it was 12 and two. And I threw a touchdown, I ran the touchdown. We still lost and it was fine. But two years later, we came back and won it. So I, I felt as though like, you know, like I always came from a winning program. I always came from a, a, a surrounded by winners. And, and, and a team that's always looking at winning as the number one goal at, by all means necessary. Syracuse was fun for me, I guess. It was definitely an experience. Syracuse, I guess, shaped me out to be the man I am today because like, I definitely had to go through a lot to even end up here in Tiffin. Because like everybody asks me all the time, how you ended up in Tiffin, how you ended up in Tiffin. I really can't tell you how I ended up in Tiffin because it's like, that wasn't my initial goal, but landing here is, you know, it, it was very beneficial to me. Like. Everything at Syracuse, it was just, it was cool. Like, it was definitely fun, but I felt like I lost my love for football a little bit up there. And it's just like when I got back here and I'm around guys who maybe like, even though, you know, going from that D1 to D2, it's not, it's not as competitive inside our own walls, if that makes sense. Like the D1 level, we all let each other's necks, like nonstop, even though we're cool, we still battling for the number one position all the time, nonstop. But here it's just like, yeah, we, we realize like yeah, everybody's fighting for a spot, but it's no it's no beef between us. There's no animosity between us. It's like we don't feel no type of way at the practice. I feel like this is more of a family setting and more of a, a, a more brotherhood here. And like I said, everyone here is welcoming me with open arms and I can't do nothing but show love to them. I wish I had some story that was like, I guess magic of how I ended up at Tiffin, but it really was, it was like after leaving Syracuse, it was tough getting into another school. It's so fast, because our bowl game ended December 29th. Syracuse started back up the next semester, January 13th. So that's not much time to go, you know, explore and, and see how I would like campus, if I like the team, this and that. So like I ended up sitting out that entire year and I had a plan to go to another school for some reason that didn't work out. Like I got a call and they was just like, Maybe like two or three days before campus. Sorry, it didn't work out. Hang up. That's that. That's fine. Coach Rice had called me, and, and you know, like, there's a bunch of other schools calling me at the time, but Coach Rice had stuck out because he was just, he was consistent. And, and it was just like, he always had something different to tell me about the university before I got here. It wasn't just, this is football, this is football. It's like, all right, this is your living. Then this is, this will be your living quarters. This is, uh, let me introduce you to the quarterback. Let me show you campus before you get here. And let me tell you what we have. Like everybody else was just strictly football. And I feel as though like after last year, that was my time to like think about stuff other than football. And I felt like coach was giving me more of an experience outside of football going to another school compared to everybody else who was just strictly football, football, football. It was more options here. It was come here and learn how to be a man, you know, like take your time, figure out what you want to do with your life. And, and it was just so many more options than everybody else calling me. Yeah, we want you to play DB, we want you to play receiver. How do you feel about playing this? They didn't really care about me, if, if that makes sense. They didn't care or ask the questions they needed to ask to strike my interest in them. And now I know the team has the mentality like we just got to the first round of the playoffs next year we need to win it like it's no that's no comfort for us it's not making it it's not enough for us and I, i've seen that drive change throughout you know game every game throughout the season last year every game you could just see that you know people were taking this more serious because they feel as though you know we can do something here
Like I remember the biggest goal when I got here was we need to beat Finley. And I was just like, why do y'all care about this team that much? We haven't beat them in 25 years. I was like, 25 years? And like, I just know that was the whole objective. Let's, let's beat everybody in, uh, ahead of us each week at a time. And when we would get to Finley, we're locked in. Like it's, it's no if, ands, or buts about it. Like everybody knows we don't like Finley here. So we're gonna play our hardest here. After we got past Finley, it was like, okay, we can really do something here. And I just felt like in our playoff, in our playoff game when we lost, it's just, we lost it. We gave up a little bit on ourselves towards the end of the game. And that can make a huge difference in the game. A lot of me was disappointed because it's like, we're all ready to, we're ready to be away from this pandemic. We're ready to, you know, take our mask off and just get away from everything that's going on and just play football. Like this year has been the worst year ever. And it's just like, we've lost a lot of lives this year. We lost a lot of people this year. A lot of things, you know, have taken place this year with the Black Lives Matter and the loss of George Floyd, the loss of Kobe. Literally, every nothing has went right this year. So it's just like, all right, now we can just play football and focus. And then they postpone the season back. Still working out, you know, but I feel as though this is the time for everyone to get to get their mental right. Get everything, you know, at peace with yourself because like this, there's not going to be another time where we have to where we can put football to side. There's no time where we could just be like, let me press pause on football while I get myself together. I have the season postponed, which means I have more time to focus on myself, and which makes me a better man. How can I make me a better man to make my team a better man? How can you know I give off some of this good energy to my teammates, this good vibes to my teammates? So I feel like. I guess correcting your mental or finding out who you are is the most important thing right now. Figuring out what you truly want to put your energy into and and just where you want to go with your life. That's the most important thing about anything right now. Goals for the future, the only thing I see right now is the national championship. After that, hopefully NFL, hopefully the accolades add up, the accolades add up, but right now it's just national championship and what I have to do to put my team in the best position to get there. Everything that I've been through shapes me to be the man I am today. I wouldn't change anything about it. I wouldn't change a loss. I wouldn't change a win. I know I am who I am today because of everything that I've been through. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. I grew up around volleyball. My dad was a volleyball coach since I can remember. He was a volleyball coach. I think this year's his 25th year coaching volleyball. So I was in the gym since I was able to walk. My parents used to put me in the ball carts during practices and stuff. When I started the recruiting process, obviously I was had the dream of going to these big division one programs and playing for like the University of Michigan or being from Toledo, I wanted to play for Toledo. But then I started going on visits and I realized that those giant schools weren't good for me. I'm more of a small, small town kind of person. So when I came to Tiffin, I really liked how small it was, how like the class sizes were basically not any different than my high school class sizes were. And I just really love the coaching staff here and the players that were already here, they were very welcoming and it just felt like home when I came here. I I am just really impressed by how we ended the season, honestly, because coming into that year, I had doubts about even making it to like the conference tournament because we did lose so many of our like senior players who had key roles on the team and coming back and basically having a whole new set of people come in with a big freshman class. I was kind of nervous, but I think I think we really pulled it out. We had a good good ending to the season, finishing behind Hillsdale, and we gave them a good run for their money too. So that was I was really proud of it. 
I think this fall not having a season really kind of helps us in a way because we have 15 returners but we also have 15 freshmen and we have a lot of spots that our people are fighting for and that we need to fill for this year so I think giving them the all of the fall to really set in and get in with us and like figure out what offense we're running and how we run things here I think that's very helpful for them. So I started playing soccer when I was uh, uh, about eight years old. Uh, I was playing for my local team um, before moving on to a professional academy in Swindon Town. Um, I was there for 10 years and then after my 10 years there I moved to Forest Green which is another professional academy and I did a two year scholarship there. Um, we was always told about the opportunities to come out to America and like, play art, play soccer and, um, and like, study. So this was always something I was thinking of. After, after my time playing in England. Uh, so I made the decision to come to Tiffin. Um, obviously I went through um, a sports agency to come out here, so they put all my clips together. Um, I had a couple of offers from like various universities, but um, when Tiffin came up, I spoke to Coach Rudy, um, and I liked his like desires for the upcoming seasons, like the philosophy of playing, like the soccer they play here. Obviously the pandemic has like, affected everything in terms of like, schooling and, and our soccer um, like it's been hard because we, was, we had like a long summer off we were forced home um, not being able to do anything and coming back and starting playing soccer again was, was kind of hard it's, it was hard enough taking to uh, a couple of months so it's affected a lot of things, in terms of like the team goals obviously we want to win like whatever competition we're in is the conference um, Coach Rudy has mentioned to me like his goals are to win the national tournaments and that's obviously going to be the goal for the top on here. Future plans after after tipping. Um, I'd like to play obviously professionally, that's obviously been my dream since I was a young, young kid. Um, but if things don't work out with soccer, then uh, maybe going into coaching back home in England or, or uh, any other jobs to do with it within sport. Good afternoon and welcome, Greg, to the 2021 Undergraduate Academic Honors Ceremony. A special welcome to friends and family viewing this event via live stream. Today's event, we will honor the undergraduate students who have achieved the Academic Distinction Award level throughout their time here at Tiffin University. At this time, I'd like to welcome to the podium Tiffin University's 
Provost and Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Peter Holbrook, for opening remarks. So I also want to recognize, I'm going to step back here, I also want to recognize some people who put today forward and, and did the planning for that. Dr. Christina Collins, our Associate uh, Vice Provost for Accreditation and Institutional Effectiveness. Um, she worked with me to make sure that we could do this Honors Day today, and so I want to thank her, along with a number of staff people who helped to make this happen. So I want to recognize our three deans from our three schools. And in the back of the room, again, we have Dr. David Selnick, Dean Selnick from the School of Criminal Justice and Social Sciences, Dr. Terry Sullivan from the School of Business, and Dr. Joyce Hall Yates from the School of Arts and Sciences. Um, and they have really done wondrous things to make sure that you can have the best education that you can have every single day of your life at the university. And then there are some people from staff, Russ Snyder, I'd like to thank him for doing the live stream. And this is our test drive, if you will, for graduation, because we will be live streaming um, graduation to friends and family, as well as doing um, a simulcast with uh, graduates in two different places on campus. It's going to be an exciting day within that. Um, I'd like to also thank um, Brooklyn Kirschner um, for her work, Carrie Jones, um, Allie um, Wynandy, as well as then um, Jonah Sumla. I want to say thank you, and then Caitlin Buehler for taking the photos for the day. So we could have this celebration today with all of their work um, and what they did to put this together. So let's just give them a little round of applause. 
So with that, again, congratulations. Step into that space. Enjoy your accomplishments and be proud of what you've done um, because you've done amazing things. And I know that you will make us proud as you continue to step into the space, into your future, and make a difference in the world today. Just always remember, you're a dragon. Thank you, Provost Omar. It is now time to recognize the graduating seniors in attendance who, achieve, who have achieved academic distinction award level. You will receive a medal to wear at commencement, as well as a certificate designating this achievement. The Medal of Academic Distinction is given to baccalaureate degree students graduating with a cumulative GPA average of 3.5 or higher. As your name is called, please approach the podium through the center aisle, receive your award. You will then proceed to the photo booth with your award and return to your seat via the side aisle. Aziz Alamar. Meredith Bowes. <laughs> Hannah Britton. <laughs> Eduardo Marcelo Carvajal de Cuare. <laughs> Laura Chelman. Sydney Cox. <clears throat> Gabrielle Dar. Chase Dumer. Joseph England. Patricia Evans. Ashley Franklin. Brittany Gallagher. Sophia George. Aeneas Gaston. <clears throat> Lord.
Lauren Gruden. Jordan Hill. Savannah Dawson. Kylie Keen. Alexis Kessler. Rebecca Cabasa. Emily Kohler. Joshua Core. Tesla Karate. Anna Katrin Lamont. Shauna Lee. Michelle Lay. Alyssa McCann. Skyler Newford. Bailey Ram. Nicholas Runco. <laughs> Mashari Saloji. Sarah Pop. Kaya Saxon.
Juliet Zirajent. Anna Smalley. Jenna Smalley. Lindsay Stop. Claire Sullivan. Ryan Tom. Garrett Tinker. Katie Vogel. Lindsay Weiser. Lejean Wilson. Alexandria Zarimba. Are there any students in attendance that I did not call their name? Thank you, and congratulations again for your wonderful achievement. At this time, we will name the graduating students who have been chosen by their respective faculty for excellence in field of study awards. The Glass Flame Award is given to graduating students, one in each major, in a baccalaureate program with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or above. Recipients are chosen by faculty in their appropriate departments for both academic performance and contributions to learning and life on campus. Dean Holly, Dean Jean, Dean Joyce Holly Hayes, the Dean of the School of Arts and Science, will now present the Excellence in Field of Study Awards for Arts and Science. Good afternoon, students and families. I'm Dr. Joyce Paul Yates, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences. It is my pleasure to announce the winners of the Excellence in the Field of Studies Award for the programs in the School of Arts and Sciences. 
At the last flame award presented for excellence in the field of study is given to one graduating student in each major in the baccalaureate program with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher. Awardees are chosen by the faculty in the appropriate departments for their academic performance and their contribution to learning and life on campus. For the Bachelor of Arts in the Communication with a concentration in electronic media. This recipient is from Clyde, Ohio and is a December 2020 graduate of Tiffany University. He majored in communication with a concentration in electronic media. He graduated with an impressive 3.94 GPA and was regularly on the Dean's List. This past year, he had an internship at the Washington Center that placed him as a student intern at the Voice of America, a multimedia U.S. government agency. While at the Voice of America, he was able to gain valuable hands-on experience working with professional media. He is planning to move to the West Coast to take what he has learned about the media leadership and management to break into the entertainment field to work on movies and television shows. The winner of the Bachelor of Arts Communication and Electronic Media Award is Alex Begley. Alex, would you come forward to receive your award? Let's move on. Hailing from Canton, Ohio for the Bachelor of Arts in History, this recipient's lifelong passion for studying the past caused her to enroll in TU's history program. Throughout her educational journey at TU, she has taken advantage of the unique training offered in history courses by broadening her understanding of cultures, identities, and ideas. In the various history courses she took at TU, she conducted fascinating research projects that ranged from a study on the history of women's representation in 20th century popular media, to a comparative analysis of immigrant and minority experiences during the 1920s and the Great Depression. She has even worked on a larger oral history project that recorded and preserved the memories of those in the Tiffin community related to their experiences and thoughts about COVID-19 and 2020. Her work ethic and desire to produce high quality pieces of research distinguished her among her classmates. After graduation, she plans to work in a museum. She hopes to secure a curator position so that she can craft historical narratives for the popular audience. In addition to her academic involvement at TU, she is also a member of the Zeta Phi Beta sorority. The winner of the Bachelor of Arts History Award is Gabrielle The next award to be presented is for the Bachelor of Arts Communication Concentration in Public Relations. This recipient has been an excellent student. She is from Youngstown, Ohio, and took courses at Youngstown State University before choosing to come to Tiffin University. She is a communication public relations major with a leadership studies minor. 
She has also been a peer facilitator for DEC 100 for Dr. Erin Burton, where she did a wonderful job connecting with first year students. She has also been involved in the music programs and sang in choir at Tiffin University. Recently, she has been accepted into Tiffin University's Ma Masters of Higher Education Administration program. The winner of the Bachelor of Arts in Communication with the Concentration in Public Relations Award is Rebecca Becca Kelasta. The next award is for the winner of the Bachelor in Arts in Arts Administration with Concentration in Music Industry. The winner of this award is an incredibly talented instrumentalist and producer in Tiffin University's arts program. He will be graduating with an arts and entrepreneurship degree. Hailing from Elmore, Ohio, he has been heavily involved in the music department, being a key leader and bass player in many ensembles and a participant in choir. He is also a founding member of Tiffin Music Studios, the university recording studio and record label, and has been an all-around player for this organization, engineer, producer, and most recently, studio manager. He is also a positive member of Concert Production Team and the Euphoric Collective Podcast. His extensive musical and technical skills make him one of the most well-rounded students Stiffen University has, but his integrity and presence in the department are what shines through. We are honored that this award be given to such an outstanding member of this community. The winner of the Bachelor of Arts Administration with Music Industry Concentration is Adam Rumpke. The next award is for the Bachelor of Arts English with Licensure in Integrated Language Arts. This recipient is currently completing her final semester at Tiffin University in her student teaching in eighth grade. She is teaching reading and English at Old Fort. She will be graduating this spring with licensure in adult and young adult language arts in, from the state of Ohio. She was always early to class, participated in discussions, collaborated well with others, and completed all work with rigor and excellence and has gone above and beyond to attend all the education events in person and in this last year virtually. She is caring, accountable, responsible, respectful, dedicated, organized, creative, has high communication skills, and, and is extremely hardworking. She is going to make a wonderful English teacher. The winner of the award for the Bachelor of Arts in English with Licensure and Integrated Language Arts is Sarah Maxwell. The next award goes to for the BA in English Middle School Licensure Program. This recipient is from Dublin, Ohio, and will be student teaching this fall. She will graduate from Tiffin University with her licensure in Middle Childhood Education, English and History, which means she can teach grades four through nine. She is an excellent student who works well with others and offers support to her fellow students. She is incredibly reliable and dedicated in the classroom as well as on the volleyball court. Her skills and personality will make her an excellent teacher. The winner of the BA in English Middle School Licensure is Grace Schreiber. The next 
award is for the Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry. The recipient of the Bachelor of Arts Chemistry Award was very young when he became interested in dentistry. From his days in his high school in Warren, Ohio, where he played baseball while earning a very high GPA because he took a lot of AP courses. He has kept this tradition of excellence in sports and academics here at Tiffin University, obtaining his BA in chemistry while playing baseball and earning a GPA of 3.57 and being on the Dean's List. He has also been on the Tiffin Student Athletic Advisory Committee his last three years here at Tiffin University. His goal is to take the dental admissions test in which a BA in chemistry has certainly helped him prepare. His goal is to eventually own his own orthodontic practice. The winner of the BA Chemistry Award is Zachary Campbell. The next award is for the BA in Health, Fitness, and Wellness. This recipient holds a 3.88 cumulative GPA and has achieved the Dean's List multiple times. She also works as a full-time as a full-time F-16 simulator technician and serves in the Ohio Air National Guard. She has been enlisted in the Air Force for eight years, where she spent the first six as an F-16 avionics technician. Her education progressed at Tiffin University. She developed a love and passion for health and wellness, so she transitioned to work in public health. She has been working as a public health specialist the last two years, where her duties are to protect all airmen from a vast array of illness and disease by minimizing health risks within the community. She is responsible for everything from educating airmen to safety procedures, and food inspections to invest, investigating hazardous materials and sanitary standards. Upon completion of her undergraduate study, she intends to continue her career as a public health specialist as well as continuing her education to becoming a health coach. The recipient of the VA in Health, Fitness, and Wellness Award is Destiny Geiger. award is for the BS in Healthcare Administration. This recipient is an exceptional student. She has fully engaged in the learning experience from the onset of her learning at Tiffin University towards a Healthcare Administration degree. The detail and critical thinking included in each assessment submitted showcased her dedication to her education. She has regularly displayed a genuine and appreciation and respect for others in her classes. She has worked in a leadership role in customer support for the past 25 years. Her most recent managerial role involves managing projects, reporting, and implementing technology for a manufacturing company. She and her husband have two grown daughters. She enjoys hiking and fosters animals for local rescues. The recipient of the BA in Healthcare Administration is Elizabeth Beth Marchietti. <laughs> the next award is for the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. It has been an enormous pleasure to work with this recipient in and out of the classroom. She has always shown passion for her field of study. She has been an exemplary, hands-on, proactive student that every time saw an opportunity to add not only to her own experience, but also to help others. She has worked with the university's former registered dietitian to create educational flyers for students on how they can improve their health through the food they consume. In addition, she started the Women in Science Society chapter at Tiffin University after she attended the Ohio Physiological Society Conference, and she understood the need of science students to support one another. Her 
Furthermore, she served as a teaching assistant for general chemistry and volunteered at Tiffin University's athletic training room. She has shadowed an endocrinologist where she found her love for the medical field and began to work toward the goal of getting into medical school. She also completed an internship with biotech company, Heron Therapeutics, worked as a medical scribe at Fremont Memorial Hospital's emergency room, and completed a second internship as a clinical trial assistant with a clinical research organization. Her drive to succeed reflected not only on her academic work, but also in the athletic field. She won the GMAC regular season championship as a starter in the lacrosse team. In addition, she took the opportunity to travel to Brazil with Dr. Mancini as she wanted to learn about a new culture and is a board member of the nonprofit, the nonprofit Burrito's Voice, where she feeds the homeless every Sunday morning. Following graduation from Tiffin University, she plans to attend Columbia University to obtain her master's degree. The winner of the award for the BS in Exercise Science is Maria Baccia. The next award is for the winner of the Bachelor of Science in Forensic Science. This recipient has always been a very enthusiastic student and an eager learner. She has a passion for the sciences, which makes her an excellent student to have in a class. She is an achiever and always tries to do her best in all her courses, and her 4.0 cumulative GPA is a statement to that. She made the Dean's List all eight semesters that she has been here and is also the recipient of the Presidential Academic Scholarship. As a scholar, uh, soccer player, she has also received the NCAA Division II Varsity Soccer Scholarship while maintaining her academic standards. During her tenure at Tiffin University as a forensic science student, she has always excelled in all her courses. She can work independently as well as collaborate with her peers when necessary. She has also tutored students in chemistry, biology, and writing at the Murphy Center, and she has helped out her professors as a lab assistant in several different classes. She has been motivated to follow her passion in the sciences with creativity and zeal. The winner of the Bachelor of Science and Forensic Science Award is Lauren Berti. This individual is the recipient of the Institute of Managerial Accounting's 
scholarship, and they are currently working towards gaining the certified managerial accountant designation. With a 3.95 GPA, it is evident that this individual is taking their academic studies seriously. However, they were also active on campus as a member of the art team and served as an officer for the accounting and finance club. Additionally, for two years, this student was an accounting tutor, played women's rugby for three years, and participated in the 2021 IMA Peace Competition. With plans of continuing your MBA at Tiffin University, please join me in congratulating this year's excellence in the field of study for accountant recipient, Samantha Fryer. Next up is Computer Information Systems. The Computer Information Systems recipient for the Excellence in Field of Study is a student that has shown remarkable talents in her studies at the university, including but not limited to being dependable, conscientious, and driven to excel in both of her studies of field. This student is well organized and ensures that she understands the content to the fullest. This student truly has made the best of her time at Tiffin University. This student is a double major majoring in both computer information systems and supply chain management. Through all of this, the student has maintained well over a 3.9 GPA during her time at Tiffin University. We know that this student will excel in future endeavors and are extremely proud of her. Please join me in congratulating this year's excellence in the field of study for computer information systems recipient, Alexandria Zarumba. Next up is Finance. This year's recipient of the Excellence in the Field of Study for Finance Award has impressed the finance faculty with his academic achievements and personal traits. His thirst for knowledge and hard work are present in every assignment submitted. He has taken every opportunity to enhance his understanding of finance and did not shy away from technical topics. During his time at Tiffin University, he worked as a student worker and was a member of both the Saudi Student Club and the Finance Club. Additionally, he earned a post-crisis leadership certificate and was a double major in both finance and accounting. This individual maintained a 4.0 GPA and is working on his Master's of Global Management degree at the Thunderbird School of Global Management. Described by one of his faculty members as an out-of-the-box thinker, please join me in congratulating this year's excellence in the field of study for finance recipient, Khalid Alakafi. <laughs> Next up is management. The recipient of this year's excellence in the field of study for management award is graduating management with a concentration in supply chain. As a student athlete on the TU's women's softball team, she managed to balance four years of play with an excellent academic record. She was heavily involved in the business club and for three years held a position on the executive board of the club. As part of her studies in supply chain, she was able to visit and analyze several companies, including Jeep, McLean, and Rickenbach Island Airport. Dr. Collins, a professor in supply chain, commented that this student was one of the most motivated and dedicated students she's ever had. Over this past summer, the student secured an internship with Amazon where she excelled. Her supervisor at Amazon made the following comments. She is high energy, has an infectious personality, does not have a bad day, 
and is a consistent contributor to our group. As a result of her stellar performance as an area intern, uh, this student was asked to join Amazon full-time upon the completion of her degree this past December. Currently, she is an area manager in the Cleveland area. Please join me in congratulating this year's excellence in the field of study for management recipient, Chelsea Trusty. Next up is marketing. The recipient of this year's Excellence in the Field of Study for Marketing Award is a highly motivated student that illustrates leadership both in the classroom and on the golf course. This gentleman has proven himself successful in many projects and competitions that have given him the ability to excel professionally. This talented marketing major has won a pitch competition, consulted with numerous local businesses, and is currently working on a high-profile internship with a partner back home in Switzerland. Faculty members commented that he is a pleasure to work with and to have in class. They also noted that it has been rewarding to watch his business intellect grow, and fellow classmates and teammates have noted that they trust in his leadership. Please join me in congratulating this year's excellence in the field of study for marketing recipient, Nico Kaifer. And then finally, sports management. The recipient of this year's excellence in the field of study for sports management award changed her major during her sophomore year from forensic science to sports management with a concentration in sports marketing and is earning a minor in chemistry. She has been <coughs> An executive board member on the Sports Management Club for the past two years and has competed all four years as one of the top five players on the women's golf team, which was ranked this year nationally in the top 25. Following the spring sports season and hopefully a third trip to the Super Regionals, it is highly likely that she will receive her fourth consecutive award as an academic All-American Scholar athlete. On campus, she is a tutor in the Murphy Center and is active in CREW, a Christian ministry uh, student organization. She is also a member of Overflow Ministries of Tiffin, which provides mentorship, development, and leadership opportunities to youth and college students in the community. In her spare time, she volunteers as a communications associate for the International Culture Consortium, a nonprofit organization founded by a five-time Olympian and designed and delivers education, training, and sports business. This year's honoree is engaged to be married and ready to begin her career in golf management. After two summers with the Northern Ohio PGA Charitable Foundation, she has accepted a full-time PGA job fellowship where she will start in May supervising junior and professional golf events. Please join me in congratulating this year's excellence in the field of study for sports management recipient, Emily Taylor. Good afternoon, my name is Professor David Sonic. I'm the Vice Provost and Dean of the School of Criminal Justice and Social Sciences. I'm joined today by Dr. Elizabeth Pathy Victor and Dr. Stephen Hurwitz to present the awards for the School of Criminal Justice and Social Sciences. The Award for Corrections. The winner is a student who made the Dean's List every semester at TU. Because of her work ethic and determination, she was able to graduate a year early with a Bachelor of Criminal Justice degree in Corrections and a minor in Forensic Psychology. While keeping a strong focus on her academics, she has balanced her job throughout her time at TU. 
This past semester, the student interned with the Seneca County Juvenile Probate Court. Her ultimate goal after graduation is to become a probation officer. In her spare time, she enjoys running and working out. Tiffany University is proud to award the Excellence in Field Award for Corrections to Shauna Lee. This year's Excellence in Field Award for Criminalistics is a double major, with the second major being Forensic Psychology. They participated in the Washington Center Internship Program, serving with the Feather Aid and Restoration as part of their Reentry and Transition Service Program, and did a second internship with the Montgomery County Adult Probation Department with Women's Therapeutic Corps. The award winner has worked the front desk at the Murphy's Academic Support Center and has served as a resident assistant. They earned the Presidential Scholarship of TU and were on the Dean's List every semester. Their extracurricular activities included being a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success and as President of Alpha Phi Sigma, the National Criminal Justice Honor Society. This year's award winner has already secured a job with the Fairport, Ohio Municipal Court as a deputy clerk. When asked about this year's winner, Dr. Jeff Stockner, Professor of Business Law and Criminal Justice said, Rarely in my 36 years of full-time teaching at Tiffin University have I seen such exemplary all-around academic and personal attributes from a student. Tiffin University is proud to present the Excellence in Field Award for Criminalistics to Ms. Laura Chong. This year's Excellence in Field Award for Cyber Defense and Information Assurance goes to an individual who is truly dedicated to his academic and extracurricular endeavors. The student is a leader in the classroom and on the court. He has been on the Dean's List every court semester and has won the Intercollegiate Tennis Association All Academic Award four years in a row and is a four year varsity athlete on Tiffin University's men's tennis team. During his tenure at Tiffin, he has worked on two special projects with the Center for Cyber Defense and Forensics, one with the Maritime Transportation System Information Sharing and Analysis Center, and one with the local manufacturing company. He received very high reviews from both organizations. Since 2013, he has worked with different organizations, including Fairtech Properties Incorporated, doing business as Subway Sandwiches, serving as a trainer in three different locations. Tiffin University is proud to award the 2021 Excellence in Field Award for Cyber Defense and Information Assurance to Austin Muhammad Ali. The winner of this year's Excellence in Field Award for Cyber Security completed an internship at Fleet Transportation Services. Throughout his tenure at Tiffin University, he has maintained a 3.92 grade point average and was on the Dean's List every semester. He was a member of both the Tech Club and the Security Club. He was involved in eSports management and took numerous Cyber League, National Cyber League competition awards. He was also on the EV basketball team and he won the NCAA Athletic Academic Award in 2019. Tiffin University is proud to present the 2021 Excellence in Field Award for Cyber Security to Joshua Ford.
The award for digital forensics goes to an individual that is truly dedicated to her academic and career endeavors. Since 2018, this student has served the United States of America in the Army Reserves as a construction equipment mechanic. She has served Tiffany University as a surgeon in campus security since 2017. A double major in digital forensics and cyber defense and information assurance, she completed her internship with the U.S. Internal Revenue Service as an IT specialist information security intern and served as an IT technical intern. She has served as a court-appointed special advocate and has volunteered significant amounts of time for work for the city and environment mentors a science-focused program which mentors high school students from underserved communities. She also participated in Tiffany University's vocal ensembles. This individual's desire to serve others and make her community better is just one of the many outstanding qualities that will guide her as she progresses in what promises to be a very successful career. Tiffany University is proud to award the 2021 Excellence in Field Award for Digital Forensics to Tatiana Rossi. This year's recipient for the award in forensic psychology distinguished herself academically and with service to the School of Criminal Justice and Social Sciences. She has a 4.0 GPA in her major and an overall GPA of 3.91. She will graduate as a summa cum laude honors graduate. At TU, she has held many leadership positions and was involved in many academic and extracurricular activities. She has been involved as a peer mentor tutor, member of the Ohio Innocence Project Club, and has been an officer in the Student Research Council. As a student researcher, she conducted several large studies of her own in original empirical research and presented her findings at research conferences. She has the respect of students and faculty alike. As an immigrant to the United States, she offers a different perspective to the TU community. She is dedicated to hard work, excellence, and professionalism as evidenced by her current job as a Deputy Clerk of Courts in the Cleveland area. Tiffany University is proud to present this year's award for excellence in the field of study for forensic psychology to Marina Abuj. <laughs> this year's award winner for the field of government and national security is a student who distinguished herself academically and is someone who is involved in many field-related activities at Tiffany University. In addition to her government and national security degree, she double majored in forensic psychology. And despite being very busy as a student dedicated to both majors, she managed to compile an impressive list of student involvement. While at TU, she served not only as a tutor, but also worked in student guidance planning for the tutoring center. There, she was directly involved in assisting the director in supporting at-risk students, creating placements for students with appropriate tutors, monitoring student progress, evaluating tutoring effectiveness, and e-tutoring. She was active in the Student Research Council, working in the Student Disability Center, and served as a mentor for at-risk youth with Seneca County Mentor Youth Links. And this is only about half of the accomplishments she has done for student and community organizations. A native of Vermont, her internship was with the Rutland Vermont Police Department as an evidence specialist. The student embodies the spirit of service to others, as well as academic and professional excellence. Tiffany University is proud to present the Excellence in Field Award for Government and National Security to Sequoia Dixon Wood. The recipient of the Excellence in Field Award for Homeland Security and Terrorism is a high achiever who will graduate not only with a Bachelor of Criminal Justice in Homeland Security and Terrorism, but also a degree in forensic psychology and a Latin American studies minor. She accomplished all of this while maintaining an overall GPA of 3.91 and fulfilling the demands of being a student athlete. She competed as an equestrian for three years, was a team captain and the team social media representative. She was a first team national all-academic award winner through the Intercollegiate Horse Show Association, was a regional champion and competed in the zone semifinals for sophomore year. Unfortunately, COVID-19 had her junior year of competition short. This award winner participated in the American University Washington Semester Program, completing two internships, 
one with the New York Center for Foreign Policy Affairs, and another with the National Defense University's Center of International Security Affairs, where she was a research assistant for crime and terrorism. While at the New York Center for Foreign Policy Affairs, she was published twice as a sole author and once as a co-author. Her articles were Venezuela, Elections in Mid-COVID-19, Russia and the Arctic, and along with co-author Katya Moore, Cold War 2.0, A New Era of Confrontation. And these are published on the Center's blog and analysis web pages. A Tiffany University resident advisor, member of both the Alpha Phi Sigma Criminal Justice Honor Society and the National Society of Leadership and Success, her goals are to attend graduate school in international security studies and work in the field of foreign policing or counterterrorism in the DC metropolitan area. Tiffany University is proud to present the Excellence in Field Award to Sydney Cox. This year's winner in the Excellence in Field Award for Justice Administration is proud to have completed two bachelor's degrees, a Bachelor in Fine Arts and Fashion Design from Kent State University, and now a Bachelor of Criminal Justice and Justice Administration from Tiffin University, graduating from TU with a 4.0 GPA. The award winner is very entrepreneurial. As a co-creator of Black Mass, the Cleveland area alternative drag for and queen entertainment nightlife production featuring LGBTQ talents of all kinds. She has helped grow the audience and the company is on track to hosting some of the most popular nightlife events in the city. Even being nominated from, from awards for uh, Cleveland Scene Magazine. Between her academic and business experiences, this year's winner has realized that her true passion in life is creating resources for vulnerable members of her community. By working through the Justice Administration program, it has helped her recognize the importance of creating space and opportunity for vulnerable populations as a means of crime prevention, equality, and social justice. She hopes to find post-graduation employment where she is able to continue working with the LGBTQ plus youth and other minority populations to prevent crime through proactive restorative justice. Tiffany University is proud to present the Excellence in Field Award in Justice Administration to Jessica Haley. This year's award for law enforcement goes to a student who has excelled both in and out of the classroom. A law enforcement major and cybersecurity minor, he achieved the Dean's List four times, was a two-time NCAA Division II All-Academic Participant on the basketball team, and served on the speech and debate team as well as in the criminal justice call. He, he completed his internship with the Seneca County Drug Task Force Enforcement Unit, where he had assisted investigators in their cases. This year's winner is highly regarded by many professors, not only for his academic performance, but his professional demeanor. He has already been accepted at six major law schools in the Midwest and wishes to pursue a career as a federal prosecutor. Tiffany University is proud to announce the winner of the Excellency Field Award for Law Enforcement, Mitchell Crane. <laughs> this year, the School of Criminal Justice and Social Sciences is proud to present the R. Scott Hestel Award for Psychology to not one, but actually two outstanding students. The first winner distinguished herself as a student who consistently demonstrated a high quality of work maturity, and motivation. She double majored in psychology with a concentration in addictions counseling and forensic psychology. The award winner demonstrates professional and interpersonal expertise in working with others. She has taken the initiative beyond most graduate, undergraduate students, including working at a 30-day substance abuse, abuse treatment center and volunteering with the Salvation Army. She was an intern with the U.S. Marshal Service in Washington, D.C. A member of both the National Criminal Justice Honor Society and the National Honor Society of Leadership and Success, she was also active in the Sigma Delta Sigma sorority 
and then the music department. Tiffany, Tiffany Diversity is pleased to announce the first winner of the R. Scott Bissell Award for Psychology, Skylar Linson Big One. Our second winner, also double majored in psychology with a concentration in addictions counseling and forensic psychology. She is the type of student who leaves an impression and exhibits quiet humility that is genuine. Our winner has demonstrated her academic abilities since her first semester on campus when she earned a spot on the Dean's List. She has not left that list since, and she currently holds a 3.95 GPA. In addition to her academics, the student has been integral to the women's volleyball team at Tiffany University. Up to 2018, she played in all 32 matches and was rated as one of the most valuable players. Her teammates report that she's a calm, unifying force on the team, and they look to her for guidance. Presently given her internship at the Washington Center, she is working with the Service Women's Action Network. This group is dedicated to advocating for service women, both past and present. This year's winner is a vital member of this initiative and will be a force for good in our professions. Tiffany University is pleased to announce the second winner of the R. Scott Fiscal Award for Psychology, Sydney Dillon. And finally, we come to the F.H. Cap Wilkinson Award. The Cap Wilkinson Award is the highest award for an undergraduate student in the School of Criminal Justice and Social Sciences. It is given annually to the student who best reflects the values and ideals of the school. This year's winner com completed the Bachelor of Criminal Justice degree with a major in forensic psychology and a, ma and a minor in addictions counseling in December with a 4.0 GPA. She was always highly engaged and active in classroom discussions. But her academic accomplishments only tell part of the story. She has been a leader both inside and outside the classroom and a great mentor to her fellow students. This award winner serves as the first president of Tiffin University's undergraduate chapter of the Ohio Innocence Project. She served in that role for 20 months, organizing and running meetings, coordinating publicity for low IP events, and being the liaison between Tiffany University's undergraduate chapter and the organization's headquarters. She was highly active on campus, working for career services as a member of the National Society of Leadership and Success and the Criminal Justice Club. And it should be noted, she accomplished all of this while adhering to the rigors of being a varsity athlete on the women's soccer team. The student should also be recognized as the first Tiffany University student to do a fully virtual internship with the Washington Center. During the summer of 2020, she served as a civil legal aid intern at National League Aid and Defender Association. Working independently, she accomplished a wide variety of legal tasks, including a review and comparison of national bill proposals. She maximized her experience through networking and legal professionals and attending meetings with the American Bar Association, Equal Justice Conference Planning Committee, the Task Force on Racial Equity, and many others. Our persevering award winner is always generous with her time and never refuses a request to share her internship experiences or to help promote TU and the Ohio Innocence Project. She could not be here today because of her obligations as an assistant soccer coach at her high school back home. Having been accepted to multiple law schools, she is currently considering her next step. We know that wherever it takes her, her star will continue to shine brightly. The School of Criminal Justice and Social Sciences is proud to present the 2021 FH Capital Wilkinson Award to Isabel Conn. Congratulations again to all the winners of the Excellence in Field of Study Awards. <laughs> to close the program, please welcome to the podium Tiffin University's President, Dr. William Chuma.
Thank you, Professor Marvin. Congratulations to all of you. I am continuously amazed and proud of each and every one of you as I sit here and listen to those recognized today, but also each and every one of you. You're one of the most resilient graduating classes I have the honor of knowing. And I want you to remember that resilience as you graduate from this institution and go on to do the many great things that I know each and every one of you will do. You should be proud of your academic achievement, and I encourage you to celebrate them because this is the beginning of a celebration for you based on everything you've accomplished during your time at Tiffin University. Take time to celebrate. Take time to just be proud of what you've been able to do. Thank your family because they've been along for the ride. Thank your faculty and the staff and those that have been so influential in your lives. Please remember us. Don't forget Tiffin University and soon your alma mater and go out and do what we know you are going to and don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Please stay in touch, enjoy the rest of your day and please be proud of what you've accomplished. Thank you to those in attendance and those attending virtually in celebration of the academic achievements of those graduating seniors. On your way out, please visit the tables in the back for a TU cookie and dragon chocolate to enjoy. We look forward to seeing you all at commencement on May 1st. Have a great rest of the day.